If you get to, hey, what's up guys, what's going on? Welcome back, hope y'all are doing well. I have this like aftertaste, this like bitter aftertaste of ass in my mouth and I think it's because of this game, Mallorca versus Barcelona. I swear to God, this game was, and I'm alone in this, but this game was very underwhelming. It, it was, and, and much of it comes from the fact that I've been hearing just so much from Champions League, La Liga, I think the last game that they came back though, with a comeback uh, against, uh, was it Espanol maybe? I, I can't remember. And, and the whole Joao Felix of uproar about him, you know, doing so well. And then they're in first place. So I'm expecting a newly injected Barcelona, a newly refreshed, uh, refurbished, revamped uh, Barcelona. And I didn't really get that this game. Very, very subpar performances, even from uh, Joao Felix. Uh, didn't see anything. You know, Joao Felix, uh, look, yeah, he looks comfortable on the ball. He looks uh, at ease on the ball, but didn't provide uh, much in terms of attack. Uh, didn't look that threatening. There was a, a play with Gundogan um, to Rafinha, and Rafinha with a cutback, and the shot from Joao Felix, and a really good save from Rakovic. But that was it. That was it. And then for nothing, like I don't know, a span of maybe 20 minutes, uh, he gets the ball again, Joao Felix, and a really really nice shot out of nowhere, out of the blue, and hitting the post. And you hear that the echo of the post just reverberating. Uh, across the stadium but aside from that it was just like spurts little moments here and there uh, and I'm not really blaming him uh, but I'm just saying like I didn't see it I didn't see it you know maybe he was just having a bad game and so I understand him being taken off from shabby that made a lot of sense although I would have preferred Rafinha coming out because that guy oh my god man that guy that guy is number one in terms of just man, he shouldn't be there man he shouldn't be there come on I, again, maybe I, I'm alone in this. I'll accept that. I'm alone in this. But Rafinha needs to... Someone needs to take away his uh, passport. Someone needs to, to, to revoke uh, his uh, his Brazilian rights. Because that guy is not Brazilian. He is like the opposite of Brazilian. Which is... I don't know what that would be. Uh, Puerto Rican? I don't know what that would be. He is horrible. Hor uh, okay, look. I don't want to say he's horrible. That's going too far, right? He's a professional player. He's been playing all his life. But... Damn, he loses the ball so many times. He loses the ball so many times and makes some crappy ass passes that you just can't accept that from a Brazilian. And then it's like he's got slick oil on his feet or something. Put some peanut butter or something on that thing so it could stick. And, and just his football IQ. You compare him to someone like Laminha Mall, which you might say it's not fair. I don't. I don't see why not. Laminha Mall has just a different. Oh man, he's just got a different his viewpoint, his perspective on how. And he doesn't do anything fancy, Laminha Mall. He's not doing any step overs. He's just doing the basics. But he knows exactly when to deploy these uh, basic skills. You know, that's that's what I mean. Football IQ. It's way higher than uh, Rafinha. R R Rafinha's just. I don't know what it is, man. He's just like not. He's not bright. He doesn't know what to do when he has the ball. The only thing that he does well is the center. And yes, I know he had an assist. I know he scored an amazing goal. You know, And that was the best thing I've seen him do in like five, six, eight games that I've seen this guy play was that first touch for the for the goal, for the shot. Really good shot. A lot of bodies blocking him, but still great shot. Everything was uh, great about that play. But um, damn, come on, dude. Like you got to do that consistently. I want to see that more and more, you know, like just the, that first touch. Why can't he just duplicate that in every game? You know, he's a pro player. I mean, he's playing in Barcelona. I, I see him playing in Mallorca. I could see him playing for Mallorca, and I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't say anything. And I've said this before. But again, you see someone like Lamina Mall and that impact that he had. As soon as he stepped on the field, you know, he got a penalty. Was it a penalty? Dubious. Yes, no, I don't know. But uh, every play after that just looked dangerous. I mean, and he's not doing anything fancy. and He's not doing anything complicated. He just knows exactly where to place himself he knows when to do the stuff that he needs to do you know when to do the little flick when to go right when to shift you know left Rafinha's just the amount of times that this guy uh, lost the the ball and then the the, the play the the play by uh who was it Torres that gave um that fed him that nice uh through ball and I was surprised to see Rafinha uh beat this guy the defender on, on a foot race because he's not fast that's something else I did I discovered about Rafinha he's not fast at all and I knew he was going to miss it. I knew he was going to miss it. I didn't think he was going to sky it. I didn't think he was going to like just throw it to fucking, I don't know, you where, back to Brazil. I didn't expect that. That And look, was he pressured? Yeah, the guy was behind him. But he had a lot of time to think and really, you know, accommodate himself to, to pick a corner, you know. 
it's fine if he would have blocked it because like i said i didn't expect him to, to to score that goal i did not expect him honestly honestly speaking i did not expect him to, to score that, that goal i thought he was gonna you know you know kick it uh, outside you know a couple of inches outside or the goalie was gonna block it you know with his foot or something you know in the end i, I would have preferred him coming out for uh draw felix even though he did get the assist later on for uh farin farin i i think uh, draw felix would have done something similar but um yeah i, I just i just can't I, I can't think of anything else but, but rafinha right now you know like I, i'm stuck with rafinha this this guy this guy and playing for barcelona what a what a reward what a reward swear to god swear to god um and he's only going to look good because he scored a goal and there's assist that doesn't mean anything the quality isn't there i know you're thinking what do you mean he just you just said it he has an assist and he scored a goal yeah today today he has that you know and that assist anyone would have done that the only thing he i think he did really good in that the second goal was uh finding the uh the what do you call it the the space uh, and then the 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 cut back the center. I mean, anybody would have done that. That's that's simple. That's uh you know 101. That's uh, rudimentary. That's as rudimentary as it gets. That's as basic as it gets. So uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, Barcelona. You know, <laughs> um, I think they struggled. You know, they did struggle this game, and it's hard to concede that they're in first place. Um, I'm surprised that they're in first place. But there you go. Um, they didn't think it was the best of games. It wasn't really entertaining for me. Um, I like the fact that Lewandowski got nutmegged towards the end. That I think that that was one of the highlights for me. Yeah, uh, and that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I want to talk about. Anyways, thank you so much as always for watching videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Tschüss.